Although a critical clause in the Namibian Labour Act, it is not every day that the country see the importance of safety and health at the workplace emphasised as much as it has been since last week Friday. The city of Windhoek last week Friday kicked off the country's commemoration of World Day for Safety and Health at Work, during which workers from the Windhoek municipality marched through Independence Avenue in emphasis of the importance of a safe and healthy working environment. Today, the Ministry of Labour and Social Welfare continued with this international awareness campaign under the theme Safety and Health in the Use of Chemicals at Work. I was even disturbed when I checked the ILO statistics as at 2013, which indicated 2.34 million annual related deaths and a daily average of 5,500 deaths. Losing 5,500 workers a day in the process of, war, of work, ladies and gentlemen, does not fit into this century. The century whereby human welfare, social protection, sustainable development, economic growth are pivotal of most, if not all, global debates. What are we doing wrong? You and I need deeply ponder on that. It would have been interesting to get views from the Namibia Employers Federation and the National Union of Namibian Workers on safety and health at the workplace. Sadly, though they were scheduled to deliver statements at this event, they were absent. In partnership with all its social partners, namely the workers, unions and the employers' federations, the government has committed itself to the process of developing and eventually implementing OSH national policy and programs that will improve the overall occupational safety and health conditions for the benefit of the Namibian people. Also at the event, local suppliers of safety and health products and services showcased what they had to offer. World Day for Safety and Health at Work was launched in 2003 by the International Labour Organization. Franchu Olafir reporting for the news on one.